I was commissioned a while ago to recreate this 2D concept art in Blender. Today I will share this fun process with you. Hopefully you'll learn something and enjoy. As always, reference comes first, and uniquely this is given to us as it's a commission. We want to start with a block out of the scene in 3D so that we can get all our proportions right. Because we want recreation on not just inspiration, as it's quite important to get the composition right, we need more precision than just eyeballing. So I introduce you to FSpy. We can use this free software to line up the 3D axes to the 2D image, and then we can import the data into Blender with the use of an add-on. This lets us get started with our recreation with a decent bit more accuracy. Aside from the usual primitives that I'm using, you can use the ANT landscape generator, which is a add-on which comes shipped with Blender, and that's super useful for blocking out terrain. I identified that volumetrics would be key for this, as they were very important for the atmosphere. The lighting was also something which we needed to focus on. I knew that I was going to have to use some pretty strong backlighting because everything was in silhouette and we needed to get convincing silhouettes. Overall, having things in silhouette makes the job much easier for texturing and even for modeling. We can mostly paint our picture using form and shape instead of having to go into extreme detail. It's not to say that we can be lazy, but we don't have to worry about as much scrutiny. Now I continue to iterate on this in a similar way, and I share work in progress images with the client and draw closer to their vision and making a good recreation. At this point, I start involving basic texturing to get simple light interactions. The water is made using a simple shader I learned from a Max Hay tutorial, and I chose the light colors pretty carefully. You can actually use the eyedropper tool in Blender for this, that way you can get the exact colors from the image that you're using as reference if you want to. I used the actual reference image to power cloud shapes behind the castle too so that we could get some nice emissive clouds in the final image. This is because our final goal was just a still image and so we can shortcut using 2D elements a lot more easily. You can see that the sky colors are split into two, we've got a yellow element and a green element. I achieved this in Blender by sort of fading between two volumetric cloud layers. But yeah, we decide how closely every shape and detail needs to match. You can tell that some of the placements of rock formations and the castle shape is a little bit different. But with the same layout, colors, and vibe nailed, we don't have to be 100% accurate. Again, as kind of the 80-20 rule. Time is money, and unless you're getting paid enough extra, it's often better to get a more consistent result and keep both you and your client happy instead of making sacrifices unnecessarily. I introduce some final modeling detail like railings on the bridge, windows in the castle, and adding little plants into the water upon request too. Also bought in and refined a particle system for some more added atmosphere. I had it with my pretty standard blender compositing pass to get a more glowy, dreamy look, and we're pretty much golden. I know that this was a fairly simple recreation, but I do hope that you learned something from this process, and you can sort of see which elements in the workflow I like to put most emphasis on for maximizing my results. The client was pleased with the result, and I would say overall both of us were quite happy. If you work in this area, I hope that you can achieve something similar. Regardless, thanks for watching this short video, I'll be back with more soon. I have some decently interesting plans and video ideas in the making. Again, thanks so much for watching, thanks to my loyal Ko-Fi supporters and channel members, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.